But we'll start with uh, Iowa and what they did against LSU. Again, this was a rematch of the national championship game last year. And clearly, Megan, Caitlin Clark had that front of mind when she went off for what was 41 points with an NCAA tournament record tying nine made threes en route to the 94-87 win over the reigning national champs LSU. It was one of the, the best offensive performances, quite frankly, Megan, that I've seen. But then you go back to last year, and you remember that she put up 41 points in the Elite Eight last year, too. So, uh, look, I mean, how does she continue to do this? How does she continue to impress on the biggest stages in front of the biggest audiences and also doing it against a team, by the way, that was holding opponents to 62 points a game? She puts up 41, Megan. Caitlin Clark is doing all of this, by the way, as a 22-year-old with the whole entire world watching her every single move. Ever since last season in the NCAA tournament performances that she had, Caitlin Clark has become the biggest star on the planet outside of Taylor Swift. And now you have her proving consistently night in and night out that she is that player. Every single time she touches the basketball, it doesn't matter if you start guarding her in the parking lot when she comes <laughs> off of the bus. Caitlin Clark has the ability to create separation and get her shots off. But what impressed me most about that game was Iowa in general. It was the best I have seen Iowa play. Mm. And I've seen Iowa play all year long. This was the best team performance. They've had to make adjustments without Molly Davis, who got hurt on senior day and was a starter all year long. Sydney Fulcher came into the starting lineup, starting with the Big Ten tournament. And she was the X factor last night. And because the Fulcher was able to score, it allowed Caitlin to score as well. So many different people stepped up for the Hawkeyes, and that was a true team win. Hard to say that when Caitlin Clark drops 41, but still, this is a team that understands how to play around their superstar. How about her ability as well to find her teammates in the open floor? I mean, we talk a lot about her scoring ability, but her, her passing <laughs> as well. She accounted for 71 percent of Iowa's total scoring last year, uh, last night. When you combine what she put in up with points and also her assists, I mean. It's so impressive to watch her vision on the court as well. She's not only looking for her shot, she's looking to help her teammates out, Megan. It's the most impressive part of her game, Clark's ability to get her teammates the ball in positions to score. You're watching these highlights. She leads her teammates to the basket. They never have to break stride. All they have to do is be ready to catch it and finish. When you can lead your teammates to the basket, it gives them such an advantage because she passes it to where the defense can't catch it, and it leads to open shots. Clark's ability to rebound as well. She's six feet tall. She leads her team in rebounding. So when she rebounds, can get it up in the open court. It allows Iowa to play so much faster, get extra possessions. And they are one of the elite transition teams because of Clark's passing and rebounding ability.